Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So a question I get asked time and time again on my YouTube channel in the comment section on various videos is, would I ever switch to a ketogenic diet? Because a lot of people who watch my channel are very aware that I eat a vegan plant-based diet that is high in carbohydrates, low in fat with moderate amount of protein. So I'm gonna answer this question in full. So I have been aware of a ketogenic for around a year and it's just becoming more and more popular in the diet, weight loss and fitness industry. And because it's something that caught my attention earlier this year, I have researched into it very thoroughly. And I've searched into eating a vegan ketogenic diet and also a meat-based ketogenic diet multiple times. And I have to say, that where I'm at in my life, I would not eat a ketogenic diet. And it's very simple as to why. I feel absolutely amazing on the diet that I eat. I have an abundance of energy, optimal hormone production, my sleep is optimal, my brain functions just like I am a superhuman, and I have no health issues mentally and physically, holistically, I have amazing digestion. So why would I swap to a diet when I'm feeling as best as I possibly believe I could feel. And I don't see many other people around me that feel as good as me and function as optimally as me. So I'm obviously gonna to continue to do what is making me feel good. And there has been times that I thought about experimenting with a ketogenic diet, but when I look into, for example, a vegan ketogenic diet, you are really restricting the amount of foods that you can eat. You're gonna be eating a lot of tempeh, tofu, oils, nuts, seeds. You can have certain nut milks, loads of vegetables, certain low calorie fruits, more so berries and other various foods. So yeah, you are getting a lot of fat, obviously, because that's what a true ketogenic diet is, with a moderate amount of protein and very, very low in carbohydrates. If you're doing a true ketogenic diet, it's around 5% of your total calories a day from carbohydrates or lower. And yeah, that may work for some people, but like I said, I'm feeling good on the diet that I'm on. And by restricting the different foods that you're eating, you are limiting your micronutrient intake. And I am someone that used to be on very restrictive diets that made me run into certain specific nutritional deficiencies with vitamins and minerals. And I just don't want to be going down that route again with some other type of diet. And another factor is as well, even if I eat a small amount of avocado, I feel really sick. Or if I have more than a little bit of oil, I feel really sick from it. And just in general, fatty foods, when I eat them, do not make me feel good whatsoever. And I never used to, in the past years ago, eat a true ketogenic diet, but I used to eat a relatively high fat diet. And every time I would eat an abundance of fat, my energy levels would just drop and it would feel like I had chronic fatigue syndrome and depression would start to kick in. And it was just always a horrible experience. And yeah, if I wanted to, I could experiment with a non-vegan ketogenic diet. Maybe that would be different. But for me, I love animals and animals are my friends, not food. And another factor is, I never got into eating a vegan diet due to loving animals. I absolutely loved meat. Every single meal I had, you had used to have as much meat on the plate as I could possibly eat and I always wanted the biggest steaks possible and I love meat so much and there was times I wanted to give up meat but because I loved it so much and all I cared about was the food that I was eating and how much I enjoyed it I didn't go in the direction at that time in the past of stopping eating meat but then I went on a 15 day juice feast which some people call a fast but it's not a true fast unlike a water fast or intermittent fasting and then when I came back to meat after doing this for uh, around 15 days, I tried eating various different cuts of meats from different animals and every time I ate it, it just tasted so fatty and disgusting to me. And I kept trying to eat meat again and again and again and this just kept happening every single time. So it completely put me off of meat. And then I found on my journey of giving up meat and switching to a vegetarian diet, the more I did detoxification, very, very good different detoxification methods, 
the less that I wanted animal based foods and then it naturally sent me in the direction of eating a vegan diet which I've been eating for around five years and my health has just continued to get better and better and better every single year because I know how to make it work for me so I can thrive on it rather than survive on it because a lot of people don't know how to get a vegan diet to work the best for them. So as you can see, based on my own personal experience, it just wouldn't at this time make any sense to switch to a ketogenic diet. And I love to do certain experiments, but even when I thought multiple times about doing an experiment with trying it, I just cannot bring myself to eat a ketogenic diet because I know it's not gonna make me feel good whatsoever. And most of the foods that are on a ketogenic diet, as I mentioned briefly earlier, just do not appeal to me because they do not make me feel good. So that's why I limit my intake of those foods that most people eat on a ketogenic diet, except for like these low calorie fruits or even tempeh or tofu or vegetables because these foods are absolutely amazing for you. And another factor is I don't see any long living civilizations that are in existence now or that have been in the past that have been eating a true ketogenic diet that have lived for a very, very long period of time. But from the research I've done, there are some people out there that have been eating a ketogenic meat-based diet for a long time, such as the Inuits. But when you look into them, they end up with so many chronic health issues long term and their maximum lifespan is not very high whatsoever when you compare them to people that live in the blue zones and if you don't know about the blue zones do some research into them they eat a relatively high carbohydrate diet with a low amount of fat and protein and amongst these civilizations in the blue zones they have the most centurions in the world but what i will say is i will always keep my mind open maybe i will try it one day in the future who knows i will never say never to anything because you just never know what happens in the future and what is on the horizon so yeah i am someone that is always going to listen to my body and what i have to do in my life to make me feel good and the things that I'm going to try have to be in line with my morals as well as I mentioned earlier on and yeah there is times that I do try things and they make me feel really good so I continue doing them there's other times I try things that don't make me feel really good so I'm always listening to my body rather than what other people are telling me because certain things people can try it maybe doesn't make them get the results that they want to and they just don't feel really good with doing what someone else may be feeling good from so what I will always say is listen to your body and your intuition and your heart and do what feels right to you rather than doing what someone else says is good for you because a lot of time it's just based on someone's own belief systems and opinions and a lot of people can have these very dogmatic approaches that can just be not very good for people whatsoever and I followed certain teachers that have these dogmatic approaches and then it's run me into serious issues with my health and made my health deteriorate and then I've had to open up my mind try out other things and then find new things that just make me feel the best that I can feel so yeah if you have any comments on anything that I had to share with you in this video about if I would switch to a ketogenic diet or not and if you have an experience with a ketogenic diet let us know how you get on with it in the comment section down below. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I love answering your questions. So if you have any, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. I don't mind. And please share this video with anyone that you think may want to watch anything that I've talked about in the content of this video in relation to a ketogenic diet and why I have not embarked on the journey of eating a ketogenic diet and why I feel at this current moment that I won't necessarily in the future, but who knows, maybe that will change as I mentioned early on. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on an almost every single day basis. And the type of videos you can expect to get from me are calisthenics workout and progression videos, weight loss videos, intermittent fasting videos, one meal a day videos, and all different types of videos where I'm sharing my own thoughts and opinions on various things that relate to those types of topics and videos that I will be making that I just mentioned a moment ago. And also, I will be sharing with you so much valuable information on those things to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body side, the fitness levels, and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button and you click the bell notification button because if you do not, click the bell notification button. YouTube is not going to notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, 
and go and get those gains. Peace. Yeah. This is a